These pens that need to be shaken actually do need to be shaken quite well in order for the metallic qualities to be at their best. Typically these pens have metallic pigment and then they also have a solvent and it all gets mixed together. But when they're sitting in your drawer or haven't been used for a while, those elements separate. So you wanna make sure that you give the pen the best chance possible by shaking all of those components back together. Here I have quite a variety of pens from many different companies that you will probably recognize. We have Pilot, we have Sakura, we have Maltov, we have Craftsmart, we have Sharpie. All of those pens are here for us to test out, looking for maintaining their metallic qualities, great color, and great opacity. Let's start with the cheapest option, which is the Craftsmart, and this is the Michaels in-house brand. And I always give it an extra shake, and then I usually like to just start it on some testing paper and you'll see that it was a good idea that I did that. Always started on some testing paper to get your color going and to make sure that you don't have any big splats. If you've gone anywhere that the elevation has changed at all, it will typically lead to those big splats coming out on your page. So let's test out all of these pens by writing them onto one page so we can compare it all. The tip just totally fell out of the pen. It's a brand new pen. Look at that, even plastic still on it and the tip's right out. Never had that happen before. You always like when that happens on a video, right? Okay, let's get back to it. Now you'll see that these all have a generally metallic look to them. They all keep their color and they all have very good opacity. I mean, that's their job. That's what they're supposed to do. And these are the big pen companies that you would expect to have good quality coverage. But here's where the test really comes. We always look for that metallic where it still has that reflective sort of quality. Now, which of these pens maintains that reflective quality? On paper, and that's really important to say because many of these pens are not designed to be used on paper. The ones that are the most metallic are the Craftsmart, where it still maintains the look of metal on top of the page, and then the Sakura pens. Both the silver and the gold on paper maintain a really nice metallic look. Now the other pens do have beautiful quality coverage and many of them are intended to be used on other surfaces in order to get their full metallic potential to show through. So let's look at how it looks on plastic. This is not the prettiest container because I just wanted to be able to test these pens out. So bear with me as we deal with this hideously ugly container, but it's going to allow us a plastic surface to be able to test these pens out. I just put a piece of black paper inside so that you can see the different metallic qualities of the colors on top. And that Craftsmart still has a really nice metallic finish to it. So even though it doesn't cost a ton, especially for the gold, you still get a nice gold look. I've always noticed that the Sharpie gold is a little bit more on the yellow side, whereas the Craftsmart gold is a little bit more on the antique gold side. So depending on what type of gold you want, that can also help you make your decision. Now, you do want to keep in mind too the difference between a water-based Sharpie and an oil-based pen, and even in all of those paint pens, check to see if it's acrylic paint or if it's oil-based paint or if it's a water-based paint because those will work differently on different surfaces. Some will adhere better, some won't adhere at all. And then oil-based paints on paper tend to leach out a little bit of oil around the sides of your design, whereas a water-based pen or acrylic pen won't do that. Now, the Maltov liquid chrome pen, it really does look like writing with mirror on your surface. So while here, it wasn't necessarily the most reflective, it has great coverage and any time that you go to use that, I use it on journal covers, I use it on pots, 
anything like that that I want to design. I've used it on mirrors as well and to have that mirror on mirror effect with silver is really striking and it maintains really nice coverage, really nice opacity and comes in a variety of nib sizes. So that difference in color also applies when you look at the Maltov, which is a different gold. So do you want a yellow gold? Do you want an antique gold? Or do you want one that's more in the middle? I find that that Sakura pen, this ends up being one of my go-to gold pens. So I love the liquid chrome for silver, but I love the Sakura pen touch for other golds that I need to do. It also doesn't seem to leach too much and it is a permanent pen, so that's really nice. However, if you do it on a surface that is non-porous, so one where the paint just sits on the top, it doesn't soak in like it would on paper, then you typically can scratch it off with a very sharp blade. So it can still be removed from things like mirrors and sometimes from pottery if it's a glazed pottery. One thing I do want to point out though is that as the Sharpie, the water-based Sharpie dried, it really lost quite a bit of its actual metallic qualities. The Craft Smart, as you go through the light, you're getting different reflections and different amounts of light that bounce off, whereas the Sharpie then just becomes really nothing super exciting, but the Maltov maintains its metallic reflection, the Pilot maintains its metallic reflection, the Sakura and the Craftsmart, those ones all very nicely maintain their metallic reflection qualities. And that's a big part of something looking metallic that reflection that it can do. So because of that, the ones that I recommend the most are the Sakura Pen Touch Pens, the Craftsmart Pen, though not every color is the same, but the gold Craftsmart is really nice, and then the Maltov Liquid Chrome for your beautiful silver. Next, it's time for us to move on to our assortment of metallic brush pens. And I would say that these pens definitely have the hardest job of all. 